welcome to World Sports News and Comments with Ernie. And behind the desk is your co-host, Ernie. And on top of the desk is his faithful companion, the Rubber Ducky, but we call him Felix on Sports News Review. Alrighty, Ernie, let's start the show. Alrighty, Ernie, we'll start with uh, netball, as usual. The women's league, that's all that was playing this uh, recently. The men's league starts much later. Okay, so the England and Australia. Well, for England, this would be the last week we report on netball, uh, the women's England, because it was the uh, final. Australia, the netball women's is still going on. They're, uh, they're close to finishing up, but the final was on... Uh, play play was it this uh, Saturday? Uh, it was, it was Sunday or Saturday? I can't remember now. Uh, I'll look it up right now. And it was the uh, final for the women's netball in England. Okay, we'll start with the first game that was on Saturday. Both they were both played on Saturday. There was two two games. One was the uh, before the f actual grand final. The actual grand final game, there was the uh, the third third and fourth place team playing, and I guess and this we never have those anymore. I guess they we used to call them consolations, but they you know they that's uh, some something they uh, they in soccer they call it a friendly. So uh, the first the the game that wasn't the championship was the game before the championship game. It was the Seven Stars playing against the London Pulse. The London Pulse came in third, and the Seven Stars ended up in. F well, f well, what happened fourth? And they, they lost their previous uh, uh, semifinal. Because this is they, they call this the grand final, but they lost the semi. Uh, so the Seven Stars lost to the uh, was it the Lombro Lightning, and then the London Pulse. Uh, yeah, they lost the previous match. And uh, so in this match, it was the Seven Stars 48 and the London Pulse 52. Okay, so then that be makes them the, I guess, the third place finish, the consolation prize, I guess. Uh, because uh, I, I, I'm, we're not. Let's just see if there's any. Uh, Let's see if there's okay. There's uh, let's one second. So I'll say that the uh, London Pulse finished uh, pretty strong on season, Ernie. Uh, came short of playing in the actual grand final game, but uh, they, well, you know, they, but they came up from. Oh, uh, you know they they. They did, the London Pulse, they had a good season, and that game, well, it was a good consolation prize for them to win that one. But well, let's go to the, the other game, which was the actual grand final game. All right, we got the score up. It was the uh, Netball Super League, and, and then this was the actual final game, Ernie, when uh, the Manchester, oh well, yeah, the Manchester Thunder, Won the game over the uh, no sorry what I, I, I why am I making a, a lot of mistakes and I can't edit this out or anything. I don't have that kind of editing power okay so the Manchester Thunder no it's one second Ernie I was correct it is the Manchester Thunder. Ernie, I, I'm getting old and, t and it's it's uh, yeah it's it's getting late in the day and I'm tired and I, I I don't think straight. Okay, I'll try my best. Okay, um, okay. So it was the Manchester Thunder and the Low Lowborough. I gotta say uh, maybe I'll say it correctly next season. Lowborough Lightning and the Manchester Thunder won the game over the Lowborough Lightning. Manchester 54 and Lowborough 70 and I got the uh, let's see it's got the yeah see it was 
it was an it was a surprise. Uh, I didn't see the game. I, mean, I, I wanted to see it, but I, I was so cold uh, during the night. I was trying to look. I was going to look for it at nighttime. I didn't see it during the daytime. I missed it. I was going to look for it, and I just like I, I passed out. Every night I've been passing out. So and I just I don't know. I just get tired. But okay, so the low bar lightning uh, won won their match over the four-time champions Manchester Thunder 70 to 54 so they they won the Lombard Lightning to win a second consecutive Nepal Super League title it was at the Resorts World Arena in Birmingham Thunder struggled to recover from a nervy start as Lightning dominated a thrilling final to secure their third title in four years Wow. Okay. So, if I let's uh, let's uh, remember correctly, it was the um, should go right to to the page itself, at Nepal Super League, and go to the. I want to see the the. Uh, if I remember. Oh yeah, I gotta go. Oh yes, fixtures. Uh, yeah, I have to remember how to do this again. Um, to look at it's the tables okay the tables I'm looking at okay the tables okay we call them standings so yes the, the Manchester uh, yeah the Manchester Thunder what they finished strong in the season in first place and with 20 uh, 20 games they had 54 points and just two losses and then well, the Lombard Lightning with 20 games had 51 points and with uh, three losses, obviously. So, so Manchester and Lombard, they were very, uh, you know, close, as in, like, e either or could have won this uh, championship, and it wouldn't have been a surprise. So it's not like it was like a, a super a major upset. If it was the Severn Stars uh, against one of the two teams in the final and winning, that would be the super upset. But let me just get a little drink of soda here. It's it's diet. Okay, I can't drink any sugar anymore. I can't have anything with sugar like I used to. Okay, so the Manchester uh, Thunder, yes, they came, uh, they came uh, f f first, but well, it said they had a shaky start, but the Lombard Lightning came through. Now, and then when you looked at the other gate with London Pulse, they didn't do so bad. I mean, forty-six points with twenty in twenty games. The seven stars, you know, they they they're close to the London Pulse, you know, th ten points behind, but then it just drops off really bad to where the team Bath Netball just one win, three points on the season, and yeah, eighteen games. Oh, they okay, yeah, it's oh okay. Yeah, the two extra games. Yeah, it's an 18, 18 game schedule, and the team Bath Netball, eight through eighteen games, only had one win. That was a uh, well. It, it's the university team Bath Netball. So, well, you know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's not like well, at least they st they still had school to study and all this. So, it was. It's going to be easy for them to get their uh, the players to get their minds off of it and not worry about trying to make the team next year as much as the others because they're like I can imagine that like for the other teams like the the Manchester's and the Long and the Longboroughs and the London Pauls and the Severins even the Leeds Rhinos yeah you got I'm saying the other players that they're looking for. You know, a paycheck next year to with the team, and when it comes to the team bath netball, I'm not sure how it works out. If if they can come, can they, they have to be in the university to play for the university team bath netball, 
So, okay, we'll see on that one. Uh, it's, and, okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at the, uh, I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the, the oh, okay. I, 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 this old tablet just, I should I should have used the new one. Okay, newer one, I should say. And they're both old, but, but the, the, the old tablet is just, it, it just, okay, I just can't remember where I am. I have time, okay. Hit pause more often. Okay. Okay, I already, I already did that. I should have, uh, Okay, yeah, okay, the, okay, oh, come on, it takes forever on this, okay, so, I'm going to look at a, okay, I'm going to listen to you on the, the highlights of it. Okay, I can't, I, Ernie. I can't show the audio to the audience, and I can't. They can't. Uh, I mean, I can't show the video, and I can't. And I can't. Uh, what I'm gonna say is I can't. I can't uh, put out. But it's not gonna let me watch this from my current country. Okay, uh, Sky Sports. That's that's why I couldn't watch all those games. Even okay, Sky Sports. Uh, it says unsupported location. Ah, uh, uh, I mean, I, I don't. If I if I had a way, to, uh, I thought. I think I need YouTube. Uh, yeah, but then if I go on YouTube, I, I can't get on. Oh, I can't get on YouTube. Uh, is this, oh, this won't let me, uh, okay, it just, it's, okay, so, now I have to go in the incognito mode, okay, one sec, I'm gonna hit pause while I'm doing this, well, Ernie, it's a good thing I hit pause, because I've been, it's, how long has it been, five minutes plus, I didn't find anything I could, uh, I could watch on this year's uh, championship, except for that one where it was, I, it's not supported. I know I wasn't not, I wasn't able to see it. I wasn't supported. Now, I mean, I just I, I could. I say it's 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 gonna be tough to do this without uh, having this, uh, the the uh, satellite dish. I I mean, uh, Ernie, hey, you know. I, Ernie, I just definitely I, I I need I need satellite television, and then I could have been doing my own report on it, watching the game and doing my own report and. But I can only go by, like it, it, it's I'll try again to find something on it. it was, it's just maybe go back to that story again. Let's see. I'll go back to that story again. Uh, try again. The Netball Super League Final. 2024. And, okay, so... Okay, this was good. This was... I hope I can see the whole article from the... B I'll just read part... I'll just read my, to myself the part of it. It's from the BBC Sport. The Lightning Beat... I don't like to say beat. We don't say beat on World Sports News uh, with Ernie. The World Sports News and comments with Ernie. We say they won. Okay, so the Lightning won the match over the Thunder for to in the second title in a row. We okay, we, we knew that one. Okay, so okay, so the Longbar Lightning won. Won their match over the four-time champions Manchester Thunder, seventy to fifty-four, to win a second consecutive Nepal Super League title. You know that's, uh, you know, you know, Ernie. It's just funny how I didn't, I didn't look it up to see that 
uh, what was the previous champions. I didn't realize that the... Uh, but then I wasn't prognosticating the game anyways before that. I I, I would have thought that the uh, Manchester Thunder would have won. I, I, I was thinking that the Manchester Thunder was going to win that game, but the Lombard Lightning uh, came up ahead on the match. And it says the Thunder, yeah, they were struggling to, to recover. And it says from a shaky start. Uh, they said nervy, but I saw a shaky start. As Lightning dominated a thrilling final, okay, yeah, to secure their third title in four year, four years. Ooh, nice. Okay. Okay. So it was a yeah, sixteen goal win, back to back. Okay, yes. Yeah, so. You know, it's the you look at this one. I didn't realize. Okay. It was the first time uh, since the Surrey Storm in 2015 and 2016. So the Surrey Storm, I guess, I guess they're in rebuild mode. <laughs> because uh, they they won consecutive championships in 2015 and 2016. Okay, so so they're the first ones to win a consecutive titles since the Surrey Storm. Uh, um, almost eight, uh, eight, it was eight years ago. Eight years ago in 2016. And. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, okay, so then. Looking at. Okay. Okay, Thunder, it says that the Thunder, the Manchester Thunder, well, they started out poorly and somewhat some sloppy play and wayward passing left them trailing by six after just nine minutes. Okay, and then, then they had the defensive pair of Shadine van der Meer and Jose Huckle combined with uh, combined well to, to close the gap after the two okay so they started off uh, okay okay they st so the Manchester started off pretty uh, bad but the uh, I'm looking here uh, the light okay so the lightning continued to build their lead in the third quarter and trailing by 10. Ooh. Oh, the only defeat Thunder had tasted during the regular season came against the Lightning. And uh, the, the Greg uh, delivered a rousing team top before the final period, urging her players to so how much they wanted but a seven it was a seven goal deficit was it was it was uh, too much to overcome as the lightning were composed in possession appearing to win every ball and forcing errors from the thunder okay and okay so the Okay, so so the Thunder finished on top of the league. We knew uh, the Manchester Thunder. We knew that finished on top of the league, and the only defeat they had, well, the only loss they had was against the Marlboro Lightning. Okay, so this time, uh, didn't matter. Uh, regular, that was that was the regular season. Now. Okay, so uh, overall, it would have been, I guess, a pretty decent match to win, uh, uh, to watch. I mean, as I said, I didn't get a chance to see see the match, but so that'll be it for the netball this uh, come uh, for England until next season. Uh, 
But we're now we're going to switch over to the uh, Australia. The Australia netball. Alrighty, Ernie. I got the tablet all warmed up, ready to go. It's on the uh, netball uh, Suncorp Super League. I had headphones on <laughs> for no apparent reason. Ernie, I was wearing headphones and the, the, the ones that cover uh, cover your ears completely so I wouldn't be able to hear the sound of that. I didn't get a chance to even watch any video. Okay, so I'm on the netball now, Australia, the women's league, and it's round 12, and the first, ga the first game uh, to report on, which uh, was the Adelaide, the Adelaide Thunderbirds and the Melbourne Vixens. I, th I thought the Melbourne Vixens would have won that game, but the Adelaide Thunderbirds came up big. Adelaide Thunderbirds 73, the Melbourne Vixens 58. Wow, I was, okay, I didn't, well, I, I, th I was expecting a close game at least, but Adelaide Thunderbirds, wow. Okay, the, uh, the Melbourne Vixens were doing so well. Okay, and now here's a close one. The Melbourne Mavericks 72 and the Sunshine Coast Lightning 71. Okay, and then the NSW Swifts, 60, and the Queensland Firebirds, 61. It might, it might, this might be a game that doesn't mean anything in the standings because it's it's getting we're getting down to, I think we're close to finishing up, but we'll see this. Well, either way, the West Coast Fever, 68. And the Giants netball, 65. Okay, so that was one, two, three, four. Okay, that was the four games. Now, I think it's time to look at the fixture on this one. And, or is it the ladder? Or the, the ladder, yeah, we need to see the ladder. Okay, I gotta remember how to do this. We always, you know, we do, oh, there it is. Okay, now. How many games are left? We got. I gotta see how many games are left. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's the twelve have been played so far, and no, the West Coast Fever. Okay, it's. I, I was incorrect on that one. The West Coast Fever and Lightning are still in it. Oh, here it is. The the Mavericks and the. Okay, the Swift. Yeah, 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 it's just pretty well. Okay, let's see. Where's our points? Okay, 40, 36, okay. Okay, so... Yeah, the... I'm, I am getting confused with both leagues and trying to remember which teams I... Lightning and... Two of them have the same name. Okay, no. Lightning. Okay, so the Lightning and the Mavericks, the Melbourne Mavericks, are tied in points. But if it was to, like, if it was to finish, uh, the season was finishing right now. The West, the Sunshine Coast, the Sunshine Coast Lightning would have be going to the semifinals. And I think it's the one below it, the Firebirds, the the Firebirds, the Swifts, and the Giants netball. I, I'm pretty sure they're not going to be able to, uh, can they, okay, well they got, they got, uh, the, let's see, the, 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 oh, okay, the Queensland, the Queensland Firebirds have 16 points, so, now I go, now I need to go to the, uh, fixture, okay, now I need to go to the fixture, Let's see how many how many are left, how many rounds are left, and then go back to the ladder. Okay, so we got Hey, round thirteen. Okay, then fourteen. Okay, so two. Is there a fifteen? No. There's only two left. Okay, so only two games left. Okay. Only two rounds left, as they say in, the, in that part of the world. Two rounds left. Okay, so 
with that in mind, I should have... Okay, I'm going to need two, two of these on. Okay, I'm going to need to do two of these tabs on there. Okay, now... Lip off, Australia, and do the net sun car. I need one on the fixture and one on the. Okay, I should have paused this. Okay, I should have paused it when I was doing this. I gotta get the two tabs going at the same time, and then we I can go back and forth. Okay. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on. Okay, sun car super netball league. Okay, okay, I got the two tablets going. Okay, just gotta remember which one is what. Which is the fixture? What do I got on this one? I got the... Okay, I got the results. I should I forget that. Results in that one. Okay, so then I'm going to put... On this one, I'm going to put the ladder. Okay, so two games left. Okay. Okay, so two games left. Okay, so... the vi Okay, 40 points of two. Okay, with... Okay, there's a three points for each. Is it three? Yeah, three points for each one. Something's telling me I'm taking too long. Is that my time to say? Uh, okay, the show. Twenty six minutes. Hey, we haven't been we haven't been that long. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, I'm, I just see. Okay, so, just to make sure. Where are the points? Okay, 12. Oh, they get four points. Okay, there's 12 games, three wins. Yeah, because the Giants netball with three wins, they got 12 points. Okay, so they get four points for a win. So, four points for a win. So, okay, so the Mavericks have 20. They're totally in contention. Well, the, the, the both the the uh, well the first three teams are going to be the, the Vixens are in. They're pretty well have almost locked up first place. Well, either way, the, the Thunder, the Adelaide Thunderbirds can get first place still. So, but they're pretty well. The Melbourne Vixens and the Adelaide Thunderbirds, they're. They're gonna be first and second. There's gonna be uh, they're, they're either or. They're gonna be either or. But the West Coast is it the yeah the West Coast Fever. Let's see. They got 50, 36. Wait, you know what? It's actually when I look at it now, thirty six points. Even okay for the first. You know what? It's it's really close. It's still very close, Ernie. I didn't realize how, how close it could be. It's just that, okay, the, those three teams will be in for sh It looks like they're going to be in. Okay, the first, uh, they're going to the next round. The Melbourne Vixens, the Adelaide Thunderbirds, and the West Coast Fever are definitely going in the second round, or the, the semifinal round. The four teams out of the eight. And there's still room for the... Ma the, 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 yeah, the, of course, the Mavericks. The Melbourne Mavericks have 20 points. So the best they could do is 28. And they can't. So they're, they're not going to be able to. And, and so is the Sunshine Coast Lightning with 20 points. Even if they won outright 20, 28 points, 4 points per game, there's they, they're not going to be able to catch up to the uh, West Coast Fever at 36 points. And the Madly Thunderbirds at 36. So, well... And I'm looking at the the Melbourne Firebirds have a really difficult chance because they're at 16 points, which make it 24 points if they can get. And then, well, then it depends on the Lightning. Okay, so the Firebirds and the Lightning are and the Melbourne Mavericks. Okay, so I I need them. Co I need. I think I need them co uh, side by side here. Okay, let's see. So. Look at the upcoming uh, results, uh, I mean, upcoming uh, matches here, and waiting for the tablet to kick in. Okay. Okay, this is a, this is a big game for the Melbourne Mavericks. Okay, the Giants netball, they're, they're not going to be in the semifinal round, but the Giants netball are playing the Melbourne Mavericks, and the Melbourne Mavericks 
are probably so glad that they're playing the Giants netball right in round 13 to hopefully it's for them they get their win because that would okay they they would okay so they but here's another one where the Queensland Firebirds they're they're not gonna yeah, they're not gonna make this second or semi final round they're, they're just too far behind but the West the Sunshine Coast Lightning okay so and I'm just well let's see one two okay that was one two three okay the Melbourne Vixens are playing the West Coast Fever okay so the West Coast Fever if I remember correctly is is not in it, in it at all the Melbourne could still not still could be in second place. That's I think that's the if I remember correctly now, that is the worst they could do is second place. Uh, I mean because the uh, first place is still up for grabs. Okay. West Coast Fever, I think they're not in it at all. But here's the two teams like the NSW Swifts and they're playing the Adelaide Thunderbirds now. Okay, so it's when it comes to the, the, the Adelaide Thunderbirds. This is only, this is my un, unprofessional opinion, and the Melbourne Vixens uh, don't take their teams that they're playing against lightly in the next game. Um, you know, you want to, you just want to win out. You just want to win. Okay, so they're not playing head to head now. What it is is the next round. Okay. Oh, uh, see, the, uh, okay. you got teams that are not playing head to head that are important. Um, the Queensland Firebirds are playing in round 14, two weeks from now. The Queensland Firebirds are playing the Melbourne Vixens, and the, the Queensland Firebirds are not, they're out of it. Okay. The Mavericks are playing the Fever, and the Giants are playing the Swifts. Wait, is that? Wait, fourteen. Okay, that's it. We're fourteen, and the Adelaide Thunderbirds are playing the West Coast Sunshine Coast Lightning. That will be. Is that an important head-to-head -head game? Let's let's see. Now I need to go back. Okay, let's go back to the ladder. Okay. Ah, oh, this tablet is. It's just not up to speed with other tablets. Okay, yeah, because. Okay, yes, the Swifts and the Giants are the ones with just 12 points. Three wins for the season with 12 points. Firebirds with 16 points. 24 points. You know, the Firebirds still have a chance, but because there's no like head-to-head -head match with just the way the season played out, that it would have been... Let's see. It would have been wild if the Lightning and the Mavericks and the Firebirds were playing each other because they're they're, they're the three teams that are f still have to win to get into. They need some wins to guarantee a spot in that fourth place finish. That fourth place finish because they can't get third even with f even if even if the Fever and the Thunder. Don't win both games. The Lightning and the Mavericks only have twenty points, so the best they could do is twenty-eight points, and they can't get, they can't get third place. But it's that fourth place. Uh, they're, that's what they're, you know, that's what they're aiming for to get that fourth place finish. And now that I, okay, so I got remember sixteen points for the Firebirds and two, okay, so now I got to remember that. Go back to the. Go back to the, few, uh, to the games, and it's just, just please, it takes. Oh, this, this, this tablet is not as up to speed. Okay, uh, I'm sure Tabby is uh, slow and old. Okay, old or old and slow. Okay, yeah, this is the one where I was saying that that. The Giants netball have they can't make the semifinals, but the Melbourne Mavericks need that's in round 13 coming up. And yeah, the Mel Mavericks need to win that game 
and, and here, this is a big one. Okay, this is the big one. The, the Queensland Firebirds and the Sunshine Coast Lightning. Okay, that is a game of 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I'm not gonna be able. To, I'm gonna that one. I want to. That's a that's a game to, that. Okay, there any, if there's one game to watch this weekend, that would be the one for. Because they, if I look at it again, they're playing. That's a head-to-head -head matchup. That's important. Where's the West Coast Fever? Uh, such a person. West Coast Fever. Uh, pretty well. Well, the Vixens really want to win. Melbourne Vixens in the West Coast Fever game. They really want to win, and the Adelaide Thunderbirds are playing the NSW Swifts in round in round thirteen. But if you're an Adelaide Thunderbirds, you don't take the Swifts lightly. Take it; they want to win. Just win to get that. Try to get in the first place finish, which is still available. So, the, this that's the, that's the match of the week of the one of the four: the Queensland Firebirds and the Lightning, and. I'll just, uh, I'll just go. Uh. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay, I took that warning off. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, let's look at that. Okay. So the Firebirds and Lightning. Okay, was that? Let's look at the ladder again to make sure. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so... If the Firebirds lose that match, or a draw... A draw won't help the Firebirds. They they, they, sh they need... Well, they, if the Mavericks win, they, they need a win, because... If the Mavericks win, the Firebirds need that win to keep going. Because what will happen is that the Lightning will now have 24 points if they win that match over the Firebirds. And if the Mavericks win, they'll have 24 points. And the Firebirds will be done. That's it. If the Firebirds, if the Queensland Firebirds lose this upcoming Saturday, and the game is at 5 in the morning on our side of the world, yeah, the Queensland Firebirds will not be going to the next round. But if the Queensland Firebirds win that match, uh, depending on what happens with the other teams, because then they still have a, a chance. Then, then they need the 24 points. To, to, they need to win both games then. Uh, at this point, they still need to win both games. But then it's going to go to the tiebreaker. It's it's that would be that as if the Lightning and the Mavericks, they, if 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 they win one game, the Firebirds, uh, okay, the, it's the whole thing because because the Lightning and the Firebirds are playing head to head uh, this weekend, the Firebirds can be eliminated, and the Lightning. Yeah, they still have it. They, it's 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 so close, Ernie. It's so close. The fire the Firebirds would have to win both games. The Lightning would have to lose both, and and that would make it twenty four points. Yeah, and the okay, the Mavericks, and then the Mavericks if they win both games, that's twenty eight points. So. But yeah, so if the Mavericks win both games, it's 28 points. So the Lightning will want to win this game. This is... The Firebirds are... Uh, no, outside chance. It's, just, it's a complete outside chance for the Firebirds to uh, get into the semifinals, Ernie. But, uh, like I said, Ernie, it's... It's... Wow, I would love to watch that game. That is the game of the week. If there's one game to watch, that's the one. I would. They are going to be playing. Oh, 100 and if you can give the expression 110 percent, well, you can only give 100 percent. That's about it. 100 percent is your effort. Is is always I, whatever way, but it, it's it's uh it's. It's a game to watch. And that's what I'm just saying. Like you know, so with that, Ernie, let's uh, let's go to uh, Schnucker. 
Okay, it was the uh, Bet Victor. It was called the Bet Victor 2024 Championship League, and it was the ranking. And it's it's officially the 2024 Bet Victor Championship League. Okay, then it was the uh, world. It was a professional ranking snooker tournament, and it took yeah it took place from June the 10th to July the 3rd. And that's why we waited so long for World Sports News and Ernie, because we had I waited for this to be over first, and it just finished the other day. I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't know I could have seen it on YouTube the highlights of it. Well, I would have watched it last night, but I kind of, I did a live stream with, with, uh, I was I didn't I, I didn't realize there was a football game. Well, Ernie, I'm, uh, I'm addicted to football. Uh, American football for because it's world sports news with con and comments with Ernie. I miss specify that it's American football <laughs> and I love American football. Ernie, and I watched the uh, uh, IFAF, uh, it was the international. It, I could have put it on world sports news with it. I'm surprised I, I could have added that one, Ernie. I should have added, I should have added that to their world sports news in the IFAF game. Me okay, we're on but we're on snooker right now. I don't I'll try to remember to, at the end. Maybe I can kinda add it on or add it on after after the snooker. But I, I won't have the board I don't have a board ready. I'm not gonna set up a board. I'm tired and I'm just gonna just go real quickly here. Now I just wanna make sure it, uh, if I'm on the right one if I'm on the correct one I should say. The correct one and let's go with uh, the tablets. Come on, tablet. Work a little faster for me right now. Okay. So it's going to be. I'm going to go to. Uh, okay. It takes so long. Come on, Tabby. Let's go, Tabby. Just a few more to go and we're out, we'll be done, Tabby. Okay. Yeah, Ali Car. Okay, so. So Ali. Ali Carter. In, from England. Uh, he won the Bet Victor Championship. Oh, wow. Okay, so. And I'm looking. So now I can s go back to the other page. I want to make sure it was Ali Carter. Uh, now I can go to the Wikipedia page again. And. Because the venue was okay, it says the the dates, June tenth to July third. The venue was at Leicester Arena. The city's in Leicester, England. And let's see, its format is called a ranking event, which I'm, okay. And the final was, and the champion was Ali Carter from England, and Jackson Page was the runner-up. Okay, from looks like it's going to be from Wales yeah Wales okay I uh, just wanted to look up Ali Carter okay let's see Ali Carter let's see Ali Carter okay Alistair why don't we call him Ali A-L-I Alistair Carter he was born on July 25th 1979 English professional snooker player okay so we got a picture of him I'm looking at his uh, Wikipedia page uh, he's from England and he's nicknamed the captain. Okay. Okay. So Ali Carter. Okay. Ended up winning. I, I'm gonna know these players as I keep looking at the snooker tournaments more, Ernie, because right now I just they just seem like names to me right now, but uh. Yeah, I get. I'll get familiar with them eventually, but uh, I never. You know, it's like I, It's like I was saying so many times to myself, Ernie. I I need that satellite dish just so I can watch these events and report on them with World Sports News and Ernie, comments with Ernie. And I just don't have the kind of funds to do that. I just don't have that kind of funds. I don't have it. And the Sports News Review does not have that kind of budget going get a satellite like this just to report on things. I'm going to uh, take a quick break here, Ernie. We'll, we'll, we'll take a quick break, Ernie. 
Alrighty, Eric. Coming back from our break here, and okay, so we we'll wrap up the snooker here. That what I mentioned is that there's also uh, a tournament coming up when there's a big one coming up in, it's in Saudi Arabia, and I just uh, it's it's not till August, so we got the whole month of July to uh, not. We'll have to try to remember it. For the whole month of the whole month of July, you know. But I look up every week. I look up snooker events. So, I'll probably I, that's the that, I think that's our next that's our next biggest one. I think we. I'm pretty sure. I might not have any snooker next week to report on. <coughs> Excuse me, huh? and we'll uh, wrap up the snooker here. And um, like, like I said, I just. I like to watch the snooker at night. Like I would like to watch snooker in nighttime. And I I don't know what it is about watching events like the snookers and the. You know what else? I, I haven't been able to catch. They haven't been putting the Australian rules football on on TSN. Uh, this, this I don't know why. And I haven't been able to watch Australian rules football, week, but I'm kind of like, well, then wait till they get to the close to their finals, you know, uh, the playoffs. And but like they just started the just started, and the, yeah, the thing is, it's going to be tough. Well, not really tough, but there could well Saturday nights could be some college football games if if it ends up their finals are in September. September is a bad month for a person like me that loves American football, and I'm watching CFL football, of course, and we live stream CFL football. Um, you know, it, it's a it, it it's not the best month to. Uh, I'll I'll forget other sports and I'll just concentrate on football. I'll be football, football, football. But I'll do world sports news with Ernie it's still on a weekly basis because. The uh, just to make the name sports news review, as they say. I don't know if it comes up. Uh, no, you can't see it on the. Okay, where I'll present. I'm just presenting the in the hand. Where that? That's just a photo I took. Got it printed out. Oh, I made a new logo too, Ernie. There's another. I took a. It's a. It's a weird thing where you gotta get the right size photo. The, I, well, this was on the. I took a picture of this originally, and here's the other, here's the original logo. Right? As I say, you you've seen it. Uh, you've probably seen this one, where I originally it was a football logo. Okay, and see the here's the difference. I took out I took out the strings. See, I took the strings out to because. This is for the foot when I do football games, and and that's that's world that's yours, Ernie. This is this is for this one, Sylvester's with the news, the um, Sylvester, Coach Coyote like yesterday, and the Munchie Brothers. They we I use this logo when I'm doing football. Yeah, and this one is your logo, World Sports News. Uh, I could have, yeah, you know, well, SNR is for the sports news review, and I might, I was considering, I'm considering using this as my uh, thumbnail, as I say, the thumbnail icon, the round icon, and I kind of like the microphone, it's easy to find, when I'm looking, I could see that microphone, it's easy to find, but I, I think this this will look pretty good. I'll, I don't know, you know, I have to make that informal thing. If I switch logos, I have to. Oh yeah, Ernie, look at it. This one kind of came out pretty good. This is AI generated. I know we're World Sports News, but and we don't really do. We, I've do enough football. I don't want you know. I don't want you know. You know, like steal the show with football again, like I sometimes do by accident, but. I, I I'll just show this. It's a it's an AI generated football helmet, and I want to show this that I, 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 for some reason, 
I I don't have the ability to insert photos but like I used to. Like what I did this is the S okay, the the football helmet originally it was AI generated and I got I got someone that had a uh, gave it to me, the AI generated. So it's my football helmet. And I also asked for some logos, SNR. I even got this other SNR. I made this myself. I pasted, okay, here it is. So I pasted the SNR, Ernie, on top. Of the, I didn't quite, the face mask, I lose, I'm missing a lot of the face mask. And, you know, it's, I, it's, it's, it's just funny how it looks where even, the whole year it's this is totally a generated ai generated picture and i've uh so i could have went with i could have went with this logo but this one is this one looks like a college football team logo like that that's why i put it on the side of this helmet and i can't i have i don't have the now i don't have the ability to do that on my phone and and uh i i don't know what happened i i they, they they cut out they cut out that feature where insert the fo insert another photo and it's like wow I didn't know that was gonna happen Ernie I I now I can't make my own like can't do my own stuff anymore okay so I'm gonna put this photo away and this logo away and make sure let's place them put them back in the bag I got it okay. And I was saying, like, uh, I mean, like, it's just, uh, like, I was, uh, this one was supposed to be a, this one was, I'm pointing at the Sports News Review, right? Uh, this one was supposed to be a small one, and I was going to put it on the microphone. But that works, that works on an old school microphone, like, really old style microphone. I wouldn't mind finding one as a prop, you know, like those really old school microphones. I don't want to spend like thirty dollars for a replica old microphone, and uh, you know, like, and then you get one of these. This one, you take the, I gotta take a picture of it. I gotta get it smaller. You get the, if I get this smaller, and I could cut it out square, and I could put it on a mic. Like I said, I. Uh, yeah, it just it just doesn't. This one doesn't work on a new one, new style microphone, like a modern microphone. Oop, poop, poop, poop. Don't tap, don't tap the microphone, right? <laughs> even though it's not even plugged in, <laughs> it's just it's just a prop. <laughs> the microphone is actually on the camera. The two microphones on that camera, and um, what I could say was, yeah, this one, this this one when it's the right size, uh, the it would work like I said. It would work on a, a small, like a like a moderate. I like oh, so sorry. I'm tired, Ernie, and I'm I'm confused what I'm saying. I'm, I'm totally confused now. Okay, I'll start over. Yes, the this setup. If it was like the size of this, I could get it. I could get one the size of this, but it would only work on it old school like really old style microphone from, at least from the 40s you know the 50s no the 40s and 30s and 20s because it, it just you could tell like somebody was you know like back then they didn't have the technology to get like a nice plaque like this you know what i mean the, the fonts you could tell that's a modern font this is ai generated ernie and we all that's our property this is our property uh, just as far as how do you, I have no clue how you actually officially make it your property, but you know, I mean, like it was AI generated. Uh, the, it was nice, nice enough. This person gave me this AI gen. I asked him, he, we were just, you know, I was just uh, this, this person was on the phone and he's got a much better phone than I and a better program. And I said, Hey, can you, can I get a logo with S, the words SNR on it on a football? And that's what the, like, that's what the uh, AI came up with. And you know what the funny thing is with the AI? You could, it'll never, that'll never come up again. You could try and try and try the font, the R, the way the R is, the way the S is, the way the blue streak on the bottom for whatever reason and the, the brown was the football. It'll never come up again 
it, that one is a totally made up one, of course, the SNR, where I just took a picture. That's, of course, that was the t-shirt I kind of, it's kind of dark in that one, but I should put the light over there to highlight the t-shirt. We're not making t-shirts. I probably should for fun. Uh, make a shirt like that. <laughs> Who knows, you know. Yeah, it'd be for, I feel I feel a little bit better now, right? But we, I should wrap this up before I start to get delirious. Okay, so we're going to switch over to another uh, news uh, news item. All right, we, we have some darts coming up. And it's going to be the Bet, Bedford World Championship. It's in England. And there's the men's and women's. Well, the women's is only one day. I guess they don't have as they don't have as many. Uh, as, I'm gonna guess that there might not be as, as many as the men's division, uh, female players. So the men's is gonna be from July the 13th to the 21st, but the women's is only on the 21st. So it's the well, it's the Bet Fred World Championship in England. And uh, I, I gotta, you know, once again, I hope to see one of those match men's or women's. I like to watch something, one of those two. Uh, I like to see the final match, either or, or both. It'd be nice, but we'll see from that. But uh, if you, if anybody likes to just kind of see darts in action, and uh, there is. You know, usually you think that it's going to be in the winter time, but right now there's the Betfred World Championship in England, and it's I got, well, let me take, let me get the old tabby out and see who's going to be there. All right, I found what I was looking for. All right, okay, okay. First, I gotta agree to the cookies. I'll oh, agree to it. No biggie, no biggie. Yeah, I was looking for it. Okay, so Luke Humphreys is in it. Okay, that's the. Is that is that the young phenom? That's, I hope they can. Okay, let's see. Oh, cool hand look. Okay, no, that was the that was the just the previous winner, the last tournament we were we were involved in. Yeah, he won that big championship. But Luke Humphreys, yes, I, that's a name I recognize. But I got him confused with the younger person. That was Lidler. Okay, that was Lidler. Luke Humphreys was. The one that won the championship with that sixteen-year-old uh, phenom, as they uh, and yeah, so okay, so Luke Humphreys, cool hand Luke was there. Darts, cool hand Luke, hockey, and of course, of course, you're gonna have a name like that, Gary. Cool hand Luke, okay, and darts. You gotta have cool hand and darts to win, okay. Uh, jeez. You press one button and things go wrong. I don't want to go to the, this site. Okay. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, so go back to... Oh, you make one mistake on these tablets, and it makes you pay using these old tablets. Okay, players again. Okay, let's go back to the players. Okay, Michael Van Ger, Michael Smith. Let's see. Let's see. Full players. Full player profiles. Okay, so. Number one ranking, yes. Luke Humphreys, Cohen Luke, is number one. Number two, Michael Van Gerwen. They call him Mighty Mike. I think, he, yeah, he looks like a tall person. Okay, so Mighty Mike is number two. Then Michael Smith, number three. Number four is Gerwin Price. Five is Nathan Aspinall. Looks like a very young person. Rob Cross, number six. Dave Chis Chisnell, number seven. Johnny Clayton, number eight. Dimitri Van Denberg, 
number nine. And rounding off the tenth spot is Peter Wright. And you got okay. Let's see. Um, okay. Well, the, the question I think a lot of more people want to know is: Is Luke Ledler playing? Uh, let's see. I'm going to go to the L. Let's see. St Steve Lennon. Okay, uh, number 101, Steve Lennon. Adrian Lewis. S oh, he's playing. Okay, Luke Litt Littler. Okay, he's ranked number 25 in the world. Because he's he just started out in this... And winning one, one turn, yeah. So he, he's the big draw there. Uh, he's the big draw. Luke Whitner is the big draw in this because uh, at such a young age, he's, he might be seventeen by now. I'm not even sure, but to like wow, uh, he it's amazing to to what he did at, at an age like that. Like it's just amazing. It's, um, so oh, we we all can hope. For the sport of darts, that Luke Littler is not uh, just that one tournament, and that's it. I'm hoping that he, you know it's the like it's it's just the way the world works. It's a young person like him just brings interest because it's like oh you know uh, we're we're watching history here. This could be like uh, like how you know I mean like, like this could this could be one of the best dart players it, like say when he's 25 years old or 30 and you know like years from now and you're like oh you know we got we know of him because we at 16 years old wow wow it's just amazing how like I'm saying that with 10 years from now I don't even know what the world is going to be like for me in 10 years from now health wise and all that but like like if Luke Litter is still like within the top ten all the time and and winning tournaments, I'd be like, oh yeah, I remember I remember him at sixteen years old, you know. And it just the whole point is to bring interest to the sport. And I, I guess Ernie, I just like you know, it's a nice like I said, the the the, the, the these trying to like go on world sports news and comments and we're always trying to highlight the you know like the this the non-traditional uh sporting events that are always seen on uh television like we you know like i know we're on darts but i'm gonna say the word like soccer uh football if you're in england and the rest of the world but on our side of the globe, we always say soccer, except for south of us, where they say football, <laughs> which is it is kind of funny how football should have been called soccer, soccer should be called football, but but football, I get the American football because they meant that you you you're on foot carrying the ball. I guess that's the whole point of the game name. I, it's. It, it, it's just one of those things that it, it stuck with. It, the name stuck. And by the way, uh, soccer was the original name for soccer. <laughs> and in England, they just, they went the word football. And it was like one of those things in history. If I read, if I read it correctly, they if only they would have they would have started and kept it with soccer, and that would, it, it would be the whole confusion wouldn't be there. But uh, the point be is that you know there's like the Copa America tournament happening and the Euro tournament I, you know like I say like I I, I, I was watching them and I, I, I don't want it. I just I don't know what it is just I don't want to include soccer because I don't want to take like, I'm already a minute and four one a minute. I'm already one hour and four minutes into the video, and I don't want to take away from the 
other sports that I'm trying to highlight, and like darts. I don't want to be like, oh, I don't have time now. I'm tired, and I've been talking about soccer for half an hour, which I'm like, okay, that was kind of like, you know what I'm saying, Ernie? Is that coming on the program, World Sports News and Comments with Ernie, is to get a taste, as they say, get a, a taste or a, a view of just a look-see, as they say, to be informed that there's there's other sports going on and, you know, to uh, give them a chance, you know, if, you know, take a look at them and see if you like it or not. I mean, uh, that's all I ask for people to just come on, uh, come on the channel, even you come in two minutes on the channel, look. See the boards. Oh, okay. Fast forward. What's what's he talking about next? And you know, and I brought up. Look, see, like the darts is coming up. You know. So and then it's a perfect segue for our next one. Is we we'll do another event. We'll do another event where it's upcoming event right after right after this pause. Alrighty, Ernie. Our one of our last events to mention this uh, episode of World Sports News and Comments with Ernie is the sailing in the Sail GP, July 13th and the 14th in San Francisco, USA. So this is the final. Okay, Chrome isn't, respond isn't responding. Okay, the, using this old tablet has its drawbacks. When I went to, I'm on the Sail GP webpage and it, it's, it's, just it just it's 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 like having an old it's like having a, like back in the day Ernie when your first computers uh, the first computer I bought for like the internet like you know I bought an old one and years a couple of years later I, it was like my my at that time the towers because you didn't there wasn't there wasn't laptops like you are now where and it would it would just take it would be like the the way this tablet is working from uh, newer sites were not responding properly and taking forever to load up and this is the same deal with this one I can't even I, I still it's still loading up this I, I I gotta remember to use the new tablet I, I'm stuck on it now I, I'm stuck it doesn't Oh, I can't move it up and down. Okay, well, the, okay, so the, uh, finally, okay. Oh, and it closed it off for me. Oh, it just doesn't. See you later. It closed me off. Okay. <laughs> Mishu Tabby is, well, that's the Mishu Tabby, the original. And the, uh, the other one I called Mishu Tabby number two. Um. Uh, the shoe tabby original is not like I I seriously would not want to give this to a child to bring to school because this would be not great if there was they, 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 oh, they would just be they would just be laughed at I mean oh they're, they're it's, you know it's, it's you know it, well Ernie you're you're the was it you're like six years old for the, forever now but you know if you you know, when you get older in life, and I don't know, six-year-old bringing laptop to school. Where did you get the? Where did you get this off your grandpa? <laughs> yeah, your grandpa was thrown away for free, and I took the. Uh, yeah, I can't believe I spent. I I just I hit pause. I thought the web page was loaded up, so I made sure. And now it's doing this again. It just can't respond. And I can't even. I just. Oh, the tablet blues here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Now it's working. Okay. Okay. So it's the championship uh, championships of season four will be crowned when Sail GP returns to the iconic city of San Francisco. Okay. It's a two million winners take all grand final. On July 13th to the 14th. Two days of fast and furious racing guaranteed. Well, yeah. 
because they, they, they're they looking for a champion. So, I wonder how it works. Okay, so the season championship. I'll, I'll look at the points. And, okay, we'll go through this quickly. There was 10 teams. Number one was New Zealand. They had 93 points. Number two, Australia was 78. Number three, Spain, 76. Now, those are the first three. And they got number four, five, six, seven, and eight in a different selection, which is, uh, we'll go quickly, France, France, Canada, going down four, five, six, seven, eight, France, Canada, uh, is it Norway? No, sorry, France, Canada, Denmark, Emirates, GBR, Great Britain, and the United States. And then the last two, it says Germany and Switzerland. I don't know if they can, okay, so i just like to know, like, okay, latest news. Okay, so who, how does, who, event info. I should go with the event, event info and see, like, how does it, uh, I'm still trying to figure out how does it come up. So it's going to be next week it's going to be, it's 13th. Okay, so what is the event, what exactly is the event we're looking at here? And... Okay, we'll be okay. Take okay, 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 okay. Okay, so it was the following thirteen events of intense style stadium style racing. I, I, yeah, I, I, when they do season five and it's in the winter time, it's pretty be awesome to see like Australia and New Zealand to, uh, like, you know, live. If if the TSN shows it live and it's like. You know, because it's like in the afternoon in in uh, it's it's in the afternoon in in, uh, in, New, in New Zealand or in Australia and or even like uh, French Polynesia, or whatever, and being able to watch it live and on TV at night and uh, that'd be awesome. I I, I, I like Ernie. Like, wasn't isn't it fun when we watch it? I, I like watching it now, but of course. The modern technology we said it before for folks that just came across that and wondered how does a ham and agar like me the old ham and agar kind of person uh you know how does a person like me uh watching sailing gp and it's like i, I would never watch sailing gp with the the old 14 inch television uh, tube television back in the day and even if it was 32 inch uh, tube television I, I wouldn't be watching sailing the picture would be yeah, negligible compared like compared to today's uh, you know it, it needs the big screen there's only one way I'd be watching sailing on tell it would be if I had one like a, a projection projection TV like something like a or like even before even before the uh, projector TVs came out with the or, or, or projector you know watching it watching t t TV on a projector with uh, on a, you know blowing it up on the wall yeah I probably watched I would have watched sailing but nowadays you know if you have you know you have a 56 inch television in your bedroom I mean nice and you know the 16 by 9 uh, color the picture is awesome nowadays and the way they have all those remote cameras on the boats now uh, each each boat has a camera and I, it, it's it's just a different it, it, it's just the technology is making it where it's so it's so nice to watch especially at night and dark room and watching sailing and so calm and peaceful and like I am just saying like I know there could be people out there and say to themselves sailing I'm not gonna watch it no give it a check just give it a try give it a try it's remember if 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 if, if you have a night if anyone out there is just stumbled across sports news review and and watching World Sports News and Comments with Ernie, 
And person saying sailing, I got I got a lack of sailing. I, eh. If you have a 65 inch television and bigger, I mean 70s, uh, the new 65. I used to say 65 inch should be the smallest TV you want for your living room now. Now it's to me it's seventy inches the smallest size I'd want for I don't want anything smaller than seventy inch television for the living room. I mean, if you have sixty five inch or bigger, give it a try. Watch it watch the replay if you can at night. And it's turn out the turn all the lights out and just Focus, it's especially if they're later on. If they're right now, it's in San Francisco, but with the, the next season, eventually, you know, you know, get just give it a try. You might actually like it just to, just to kind of get into it, you know, like to, to like to like watching it, you know. Like I said, I, I, I didn't think I was gonna like. When I started World Sports News and Comments with Larry, I was obviously I I looked up sailing. Just I need some sports, different sports. You know, not it doesn't have to be like the next topic was the odd sports. That's a totally different category. It's it's just most people would say, "Oh, isn't that an odd sport?" No, 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 no. Odd sports are different. Odd sports are totally, totally different. It's usually just a once a year event. That this one time a year event like the. The snail race. Oh my gosh, is a snail. Okay, I'll be coming up. We're coming up. So, I'm going to... We'll close off the sailing because it's just a promo right now for... Because it's only... It's going to be on... There's nothing to report on right now. It's just that it's going to be on July the 13th and the 14th in San Francisco, the good old U.S. of A. And we're going to go to our next story. All righty, ready? Okay, we'll just go to our last one was the... Uh, feature of world uh, sports news review will do a cold odd sports search and i am hoping that i don't make a mistake i did like i did for that a very violent uh, uh whatever that game is some kind of rugby game I, it's it, i don't see it as much of a soccer game because you pick up they pick up that that was the florentine uh football they call or historic florentine soccer or whatever but to me, it's uh, whatever that game is was just I I I didn't like it. I just I just I didn't see the point. I mean, it's some kind of tra tradition. I okay, fine, but I don't know. I, I just don't know. I I, I I don't know, Ernie. I'm just not into that kind of violence anymore. That's why it's sports news review and. We don't even, even the whole, like, coming to sports news, we're, we're, we don't report on boxing anymore. We, we never did, but I, I don't even want boxing in the Olympics anymore. And it, it, it just doesn't, I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know how boxing could be in the Olympics. It's supposed to promote peace. Well, that's what they claimed to be originally, uh, to promote peace, but you you know, combative sports is not really promoting peace. You, you, I, uh, I'd rather watch equestrian nowadays. That's how sad it is with me. That I, I, I'll give a question. I mean, equestrian, we've been through this. Is that an odd sport? No. It, it, see, even equestrian doesn't count as the odd sport search because it's, it's, it's not something that's just odd sports. It's just once a year event and it's really oddball like the, as in the sense that the uh like you know you, you can you can tell there's a difference between the odd sport and just the sport that's not really generally watched as much or viewed by the general public as as much and okay i'll do a cold search of the odd sport i'm trying to find uh i don't have my uh, Okay, I'm gonna look up. First thing I just do is look up the snail racing. Let's see, did I miss it? I, uh, snail. Snail racing. This is a snail racing movie, Turbo, 2013. I didn't know it. 
snail race. World championship. Okay, let's see. Oh, July the 6th. Oh, wow. Okay, July the 6th, folks. Okay. Okay, we got, we're coming up to July the 6th. It's going to be July the 6th. The snail will see... Did I say with a W or an R? I can't, I'm, I'm getting tired. Okay, the Snail Racing World Championships in Congham. It's in England. July the 6th, 2024. Alrighty. I, 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 okay. Okay, this... I'll see where it is. Oh, they even got their own sign. World Championship Snail Racing. <laughs> okay, so it's... I guess it started in... You gotta... You know what? You gotta start something in Congo. You, you gotta be... How are you gonna do You pick something in. Okay, so this... That's the odd sports event. And it's... You know, it's not that bad. It's... Um, you know, like they're pets, they're people's pets, and and they don't put no pressure on. <laughs> there's no pressure on these pets to to breed. They just put them in a circle, and off they go. If they win, they win. Um, give them a little fluids, and oh wow. Oh okay, there was okay. Okay, the fast the 1995 race, okay the snail ring, snail race in history. In 1995, there was a snail snail racing event in France. I don't know how big the, uh, the uh, like how big the the circle was to get up uh, to finish, because it was a benchmark time of two minutes by a snail named Archie. Archie Lightning, <laughs> Archie the Lightning. <laughs> yeah, I mean, wow, Archie, Archie still can be holding the record for two minutes. <laughs> I, you know, it's funny, Ernie. Uh, I wonder, uh, we can have a human snail racing event by uh, people like me. That okay, you gotta. You gotta seriously just walk at your own pace from see how long it takes. You don't care if you you shouldn't care if you win or not. Uh, just like you know, like how long is it? Like how a distance to walk, and you get a couple of chairs in the way because I'm uh, like if it's a, quite a distance, I'm gonna, I'm not I'm taking breaks. So we get a bunch of it's like do you, <laughs> you win this event? <laughs> the human snails <laughs> who can't oh. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Ernie, the human snail race. I, I never, I, oh, okay, okay, well, okay, so we, we know it's happening, okay. Okay, so we know it's happening July the 6th. Okay, so it's gonna be Saturday. Okay, so the, the snail racing. Uh, okay, so the odd sports search is working out because I'm giving folks out there this weekend snail racing. Now, I wonder if there's a human snail race. I guess, I guess you could make a circle, a, a red circle, like they do. You, you start off in the red circle, and I guess you put some kind of slime, slime out there, and they have to. I guess you have to try to slide forward. You can't use your hands and arms. Uh, you can only use your feet to, or something to slide forward on a slimy surface. I, I okay. I know, Ernie. When I think of things like that, it's already been done. Sometimes you know. Let's see. Uh, okay, I, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put put it out there for no reason. Human snail 
Grace. It, it, it just, no, it's just not, it's, uh, no, it, no, it's giving me the, oh, come on, encourage, encourage your players to cheat or find alternatives, this is snail racing from Reddit, oh, come on, folks, 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 let's not, let, let's, oh, let, let, let us not sully a nice, pure-hearted uh, sport like snail racing, and, you know, and, and, we'll, and we'll, 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 some, put the snail on some kind of steroid, well, give them better food, whatever, okay, fine, but, um, I don't know, motivation, I, I guess, That's, I, I don't know. Okay, so, uh, it's, I, I don't really, s okay, I don't see it, so, let's see, human, human being, I'll put human being, a, a human being, let's see. Oh, so uh, someone is already uh, someone is already trying to. Uh, it's on a Reddit thing where someone's trying to make a, a human snail race, and uh, that's my idea. How do you how do you go about doing it? I don't know. Ah, uh, huh. Okay, so it, it, it's out there, folks. If you want to start a odd sport out there, uh, my thinking is uh, a human snail race. I guess. I suppose the uh, participants in the race, they'll be in a circle and they have to get out of that bigger circle. So they're inside the small circle. So they could be, they have to line down flat on their stomach, their belly as you say. Uh, I guess, you know what, I guess you're going to have to be able to use your arms. You can only use your, use your hands and arms to propel you forward. And the slime where are you gonna get the slime from is it i guess i guess you just put a layer of some kind of slime on the on the on the, on the, on the surface and then the, the I'm, I'm, I'm just visualizing it now like ernie where the person is going to be flat on their stomach ernie and the, the slime will be on the course so they start in a circle. Being humans, they know that the, you go straight that one direction. So it's going to be equal, no matter which, wherever you start, it doesn't matter because it's in a circle. So the the finish line will be equal for everyone. And they'll be like some kind of plastic jumpsuit, you know, like a, like, and uh, uh, it's, and then just, I guess you use your hands to propel you forward to slide on the slime. You know what, Ernie? It, I, it, it'll work. It, 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 who, okay, there's, it, on this side of the world, well, this is World Sports News and Comments with Ernie. It could be, YouTube is worldwide. Somebody else could steal this idea if it hasn't been done yet. Your town could be the human snail racing capital of the world. And don't say you got it from Sports News Review because then it's like, hey, I'll be like, hey, what the heck? Don't I, uh, well, do I do I get credit? Yes, I should get credit. Say you did see it on, you heard it from the, goof, the goofy person that's uh, using uh, a puppet to talk to while he's doing the show, and I never talked to Felix too much. Hey, eh? Felix, you just sit there being quiet, okay? But yeah, I mean, the, I mean, you can't you can't be the snail race. You could you could do a snail race in say your local town, but 
Yeah, no, but if you want to be the the odd sport that gets you on the odd sport map, human snail racing, and you just need the logistics to figure it out. And I gave out the I gave out the idea. Use the same track, uh, same field, like the circle, inner circle you start with, and you got to get out of that inner, first one to get out of the outer circle is the winner. And they have to lie down flat on their belly. You have to be on their belly when they start. And as the buzzer goes off or the horn or whatever, as it goes off, the participants have to slide forward using their only their hands. Yes, and their feet will be underneath the plastic, so they can't use their feet. See, I, there's no other way. To, there's no other way to make motion. It's hard. Yeah, it's. I, I, I and and the way humans practice and that, they, you could probably get it. Like you could probably get it to at least. Uh, I don't know, maybe like ten meters. A, a, you know, a 10 meter circle. It, it, you, you start like, you know, inside the circle and 10 meters to, out of the, uh, to the end of the other, uh, other circle and they just slide. I mean, early, I just, I don't, I don't have any connections with, uh, you know, your local, uh, what we call it, chamber of commerce and rotary clubs and all that. And just to kind of like say, hey, I got an idea. If you're a small town and you want to just kind of be quirky and be on the odd sports uh, uh, map, human snail racing, and I, it, I don't know how I came up with it, but it just came up because, you know, it, it, it's like I said, it, it, it's just I'm just that kind of person likes to have fun and. I just, I'm just not, uh, I, I'm just not in any position to bring it up anywhere to anyone that wants to do this. Uh, so, okay, well, Ernie, it's been for, uh, as far we don't need to look up an odd sport this time because we already know that this weekend, Ernie, this weekend, I guess, uh, let's. Uh, we're going to watch the snow racing. Hopefully, we catch the snow racing. And Felix is interested, too. <laughs> well, all three of us are going to be watching the snow racing. And, of course, we'll, we'll see, we know it's not going to be a very fast event. Uh, we'll probably, we'll leave it but we'll, I think I think we have enough time to even uh, not, uh, finish the popcorn. <laughs> we never know. Okay. With all that fun... We're, we had on the show uh, like they say I've said it before on another live stream uh, all good things sometimes come to an end and this is one of those times where a good thing is coming to an end we have to end the show because I am dying here I am really really dying here <laughs> my health is the uh, uh, like I said okay so um yeah, I can't even think right now. I'm, I'm just, I, 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 I'm doing this for myself right now, Ernie. That, uh, like in ten years from now, I like to rewatch this video, and, and it's like, you, you, like you just, even though you're just really like just kind of leaning far back in the chair and lots of cushions and everything like that. I'm struggling to keep my eyelids open right now. It's like I said it one time before. It's like my my eyeballs are heavy. My eyelids are heavy, and I'm struggling to keep going. And I know we're done, but I I just hope I could play this in ten years, and like I'd be like, well, at least I I was able to. Do, uh, am I able? Uh, my train of thought is, 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 I can't even, I had, I, I can't even come up with the next uh, line right now. 
I am extremely exhausted right now. I, I, I feel like that cartoon I watched when I was very young that still stuck with me. It was just a one-time uh, character with Bugs Bunny and Gossamer. The when when Bugs Bunny and the e there was the evil scientist and there was the Gossamer was the. Uh, is it well? Either way, it ended up with the last scene was with uh, Bugs Bunny. Uh, I guess he knocks over the ether bottle, and the fluid goes everywhere. And both of them are acting like they're in slow motion, and like and it was like, "Come!" And the evil scientist is like. Come back here, rabbit. And that's how I feel right now. I can't even. Ah, yikes. I, yikes. I just feel. Well, I, I can't. I guess I might be too tired to load this video up. Maybe, maybe I'll just. Let's, I just okay, I'm, I, I have to. And just Bernie, I I can't I can't even get out of this. I just can't even think of a way just to say goodbye. Just say goodbye. That's it. Okay, over and over. That's it. Okay. Okay. So for uh, Felix, which Ernie calls the rubber, the rubber ducky, for Ernie, who's been patiently sitting there going, please just end the show if you're dying. <laughs> I know. So for all three of us, we're all saying. Over and out.